Hello there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial we are gonna cover dialog boxes. Uh, okay, so basically uh, when we, you work with uh, the Windows application, some cases you want to do stuff like for example opening uh, fo files or saving files, uh, selecting folders or changing colors and these uh, contains you know, and these usually are called dialogues, okay? And we can use them very effectively. So first, we're gonna experiment a little bit with with those. So we have open file dialog, which is the most important, uh, not most important, but usually you use that a lot. And there's a save file dialog, there's a font dialog. As for the font and color, I, uh, you know, I rarely use them. Anyway, because of that, let's try to uh, add a button here. Okay, so first thing you notice that when I clicked here on the form, it didn't draw it here, but rather it, it appeared down the here. And the reason for that is that uh, they are not visual on the form, they are just windows that appear when you need them. Okay, uh, so just pay attention to that. Okay, you, you won't see them like that. Okay, so let us try to open them. So first, uh, of course, what's the name for these controls? Well, basically, it, it appears here. It's open file dialog one. This is save file dialog one, and this is font dialog one. And you can change the fonts, and the, uh, the name, in the um, properties window. Okay. So let's try to work with this one. Okay. And uh, let's go to uh, open file dialog. So I'm going to say here open file dialog one dot. Uh, and there's a property that's called show dialog. And this, uh, uh, not the property, this is a function. And uh, it's important because it shows the dialog visually to you. Okay, so now let, let me run this. And I'm going to hit here. Uh, uh, and you can see this is all right. And there's a name already written here. And, uh, you know, I can navigate and select stuff like that. Okay, so let me just create a few files on the desktop in order to select from them. So here I am going to um, right click, sorry. Here I'm going to make a text document. Okay, T1. Okay, and uh, this is going to be copy, another copy, another copy. Okay, so we have multiple copies of the same file. No problem there. Maybe I want to create an Access file, for example. This is Microsoft Access. Okay, so maybe two copies. Well, whatever. Let me try this again now and uh, run this. And I click here. And now go to the desktop. Now, what do you see? I can see all the, the file types, right? Uh, so, one of the th uh, there are a number of things here. What if I don't want to see all the file types? What if I want to see, for example, a ACCDB files only or TXT files only? Well, there's a property called a filter. And the filter property is unique to the open file dialog and the save file dialog. Okay, we can use these in order to change how we, uh, you know, uh, display or select the files. So the open file dialog, when you select that, you go and search for the filter. This is the filter. There we go. And here, down here, you can see there are some examples, right? So. I'm going to write what I want to the viewer to uh, see, in this case, the, the message. Okay, so I'm going to say, uh, our nice text files. Now, the computer does not understand this text. So you have to put a pipe and to specify in, uh, a filter format that the computer can understand. In this case, I will put a star dot txt. What that means is that the computer will only display any kind of file name that ends with dot txt. This is what it means. Okay. However, the end user will see our nice text files. I'm going to hit enter and let us run this one and press open. So if you go here, what do you see? Our nice text files and start.txt. If I go to the desktop, I only see text files. I can't see the Microsoft Access files. Okay? I'm gonna hit cancel there. Okay. 
I hope this is obvious. It's, it's not difficult, very straightforward. And I can add more filters if I need to. So, for example, I'm going to put another pipe as access and pipe start dot accdb. Important things that uh, you know when you give a description, you have to add a filter as well. And now we're going to run this and I'm going to click here, go to desktop. Okay, maybe make these uh, small icons. Okay, and uh, okay, our nice text files. These are excess. Yeah, oh, this one doesn't appear well. Oh, I know why. My mistake, my mistake. Actually, I put some spaces on the, after the pipe, and this is why I'm getting the error. So, remove the space. Now we are on this. So it is expecting to see a file starting with a space, then some text or something like that, I suppose. Okay, here. And uh, I wonder why this one doesn't work. Okay. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Okay, let me see. Start with txt. And oh, there's a space after the txt. My mistake. Okay. And I'm going to click here and go to a desktop. Okay, now I can see them, right? Make sure not to leave any white spaces between the pipes, right? Okay, so I'm going to change this one. You can see MSXS, go back. Okay, very straightforward, very, very simple. Okay, so this is the filter property. Uh, another thing here, when I open this, for, uh, this window, what did I see? I see the file name, it's already containing something here, right? I don't want that, I want the user to select. So, I I should click on this one uh, and go to the file name property. I'm gonna just delete it and press enter. Okay, now let us run this. Uh, let me cl click this one here and now it's empty. Empty, straightforward. What about the save file dialog? Well, save file dialog is very similar. You have also a file name, you have a filter, okay? Uh, so far so good. So easy, straightforward. So I don't I won't explain this one. Now, after showing this one, can I detect if the OK button or cancel button were, detect, uh, were clicked? Well, were selected? Well, that's easy. You just add if a statement. So if open file dialog one equals, okay? dialog result dot ok in that case else so here I'm gonna say this dot text ok pressed this dot text equals cancel pressed well that's not necessarily always cancel maybe another button but anyway the OK button wasn't uh, pressed so let us try this one this is like uh, an enumeration or constant that uh, helps you you know identify what was being clicked so I'm gonna select this one I'm gonna hit open so it says OK pressed so basically the OK, OK button was pressed so now I'm gonna hit cancel let me select something here but I'm gonna click cancel and what do you see you see cancel pressed okay very straightforward very easy okay so now what if we want to know what file is being selected so we can use a property uh, I'm gonna use a property called file name In this case of fulfilled okay it is the same file name property that's being uh, used in the properties window okay it's the same one so now I'm gonna run this one I'm gonna hit this button and I you can see here let me just change the size of this it is t1 copy copy.txt very straightforward okay so now let us create a text editor with this knowledge okay so here I'm gonna go to file new project we created one last time, but this one is going to be better because have save and open option. So I'm going to hit OK. 
there we go and let's go to toolbox and we we'll let's go to menu strip where's the menu menu strip put that here click here uh, insert standard items go to text box where's the text box control this text box control click here make sure it's multi-line uh, change this to make it you know occupy everything there and go over here change the anchor okay and I'm going to change the name to editor okay to be a little bit more more meaningful and the name for the title of the window I'm going to change that into what so this is going to be C sharp notepad okay so the file the new event what's going to happen here just uh, editor dot text equals nothing as for the open okay for the open uh, I want uh, no just wait a second come on okay I will not create the control at design time I will create it at run time okay so I'm gonna say open file dialog OFD equals new open file dialog okay so we created the file dialog object here now we will specify the filter so OFD dot filter equals all text files pipe this is the friendly message now the filter txt and semicolon and here if OFD show dialog equals oh, uh, dialog result ok well I will have now to read the information from the, fi the file now an easy way to read the content of a text file um, is to use a dot net function that allows you to do that which is uh, I'm gonna say here editor dot text equals now I'm gonna write the function it is system dot go to system then go to IO then go to file class and here there's a method that is called read all text so there are a bunch of methods but one that's called read all text and here we have uh, we need to pass it the file name okay so ofd dot file name very straightforward okay so I'm gonna hit uh, run here I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna say open go to desktop I'm gonna hit t1 uh, basically the files are empty uh, maybe I need to uh, write something to them first so here t1.txt I'm gonna say this is a test okay and I wrote this in notepad save no problem I'm gonna close this go to the program again and I'm gonna run it go to file select open and where's t1 and this is a test it is working no problem uh, now let's go to save file so I'm going to, to save us okay same principle now we have a save file dialog sfd okay ofd for open file dialog sfd for save file dialog you can use any name you can use a b whatever equals new save file dialog so here we create the object uh, sfd dot filter equals all text files pipe star dot txt semicolon no problem and now if uh, sfd dot uh, show dialog equals ok file uh, sorry it's dialog result di uh, dialog result dot ok uh, in that case we have a similar method for saving the text uh, this method is in system in the IO part in the file and uh, it is write all text there we go and here we pass it the name of the file in this case sfd.filename okay 
and the text and the text can be obtained from editor our editor dot text okay this this is the name of the text box and this is the text property it's as simple as that uh, and now we are gonna run this so file open go to t1 okay and I'm gonna press enter hello my friend I'm gonna say file and save us I'm gonna okay update it I'm gonna call it and enter I close this one let me minimize this one here and if I go here you see there's updated double click that hello my friend so you can see it is working perfectly fine it's very straightforward okay so uh, I think this is all that you need to know for now about dialogues they are very straightforward uh, basically you use a show dialog in order to show them and you check against the dialog result ok uh, there are other dialogues by the way and you can create your own dialogues okay yeah later on we'll see how to work with multiple windows you can use the show uh, dialog method okay and uh, yeah you check for dialog result okay or castle okay and uh, that's it that's it for today so thanks for watching and uh, have a wonderful day bye bye